Hi, I'm Javidi Koki. Today's featured episode is Only the Brave. The film is based on the true story of Prescott, Arizona's uh, Granite Mountain Hatchas, the first troop to be certified in their state as elite firefighters, have put their lives in danger. It was all over the news and documented how the precious lives of the 19 firefighters at Yarnell Hill wildfire has ended in the summer of 2013. It is very sad, tragic loss, unfathomable deep sorrow of emotions dominates of anyone who learns of the dreadful news. If you see the photos of their young lovely families and their parents, you could feel an intense pinch in your heart. To lose one firefighter is truly heartbreaking and multiplied with 19 is immensely an infinite sick at heart. The director Joseph Kaczynski wanted an adamant that the movie images of the events to be portrayed with the feeling of reality and that the portrayal of the squad's eminent ending matches with the fire investigation reports, radio transmission records, documented interviews, and the lone survivor, Brendan McDonald's book played by Miles Teller. The interview of director Kaczynski that I had watched with Collider when asked that he's making a movie very much based on real people and based on true story. Where is his line in balancing facts and fiction and embellishing in any situation? Kosinski responded that the line is geared towards authenticity and not entertainment. In fact, he never even knew that they thought about entertainment when making the movie. The most part of the scenes are based on real life events. In fact, Brendan, the lone survivor, is always present during the film shooting, as well as Amanda Marsh, played by Jennifer Connelly, because her marriage with Eric Marsh, the hotshot leader, was very much in the film. They had made real fire whenever it safely permits them to shoot. In fact, they had built a forest in a back lot and hardly there's a stage work. The film's principal photography was shot in Los Alamos, New Mexico, Pacos, New Mexico, and Santa Fe Studios in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I like the movie, a well-executed true story of non-fiction superheroes, a historic saga to tell that these brave firemen who place vital importance in the continuity of our community, our state, our country, at priceless cost, their lives. With this, this is JVD Koki saying, Arrivederci, paalam, adios, ciao, aloha, sayonara, au revoir, so long, and my screen's closing. Thanks for watching. See you on my next episode.